Okay guys, so this is our last major lesson on grammar and mechanics, and we're going to look at how you run away from run-ons and comma slices. Okay, so first of all, you need to understand what a run-on is and what a comma slice is. So run-on is at least two simple sentences joined together with no punctuation in between, whereas a comma slice is similar, but it simply has a comma in between the two. Okay, so again, run-ons are two sentences, two or more, joined together with no punctuation, while comma splice is two more sentences separated only with a comma. Okay, so here's an example of a run-on sentence. I have an 8 a.m. class this term. It is much too early. So we have two sentences here. I have an 8 a.m. class this term. The second sentence is, is much too early. There's no punctuation set separating this, so it's incorrect. This is an example of a comma slice. I have an 8 a.m. class this term, comma, it is much too early. I will let you know, comma slices, honestly, are not as bad as run-ons because at least you've given a place for the reader to separate the two sentences, but it's still not correct, okay? So once you go ahead and know what a run-on sentence or a comma slice is, you need to be able to identify these. I, again, run-ons are really, really hard. You're gonna have to isolate each sentence and look and see if there are multiple sentences within there. Comma slices are a bit easier. What you wanna do is go ahead and circle every single comma in the paragraph or the essay. Then you need to ask yourself, why is the comma there? Okay, the comma might be there because it's a compound sentence. Okay, the comma could be there because it's a complex sentence or the comma could be there incorrectly and it's separating two particular sentences. So once you've identified all your sentences, you gotta go get them, okay? You gotta go get them and fix those. So chase after them, pretend you're Usain Bolt and you're gonna hunt those down. So once you get those, you're gonna fix them. So you change a sentence, you can either make it two sentences, one compound sentence, one complex sentence, or a compound complex sentence. Okay, so there's a number of ways to fix those and we're gonna go ahead and look at a paragraph right now and practice that. Okay, what I want you to do is pause this video right here. Read through the paragraph and look for any run-ons and any comma slices. So again, go ahead and pause this here. And then when you're ready and you think you found all the run-ons and comma slices, go ahead, restart the video, and we'll go on and see if you're correct or not. Okay, so did you find all these sentences? You'll notice in the blue, all my comma slices are blue. All my run-on sentences are green. So let's go ahead and look at my first comma slice and my first run-on sentence. So he immediately got a credit card. A used sports car was his first purchase. So again, I circled that comma, I looked before it. Oh, that's a sentence. I looked after it, that's a sentence. Ooh, I can't just separate it with a comma. So there's a problem, we're gonna fix it in a minute. But then, the next one is, then he began to buy expensive clothes. He also bought impressive gifts for his parents and his girlfriend. I'll tell you that one was a little harder because I don't have a place. Do you see how mean, if you do this, you are evil to your reader because you're not giving your reader a good place to stop in their mind. So what they do is they read it through first. Then he began to buy expensive clothes. He also bought impressive gifts for his parents and his girlfriend. And then they get a little confused, so they stop, go back, and they figure, oh, clothes after clothes is one sentence, and then he also bought impressive gifts is another sentence. So don't do this. Don't be mean to your readers, especially to uh, myself and uh, Mrs. Carson. So let's go ahead and look at how uh, you might fix it. So again, if you did not identify all these, go ahead and pause the video right here. And I want you to work out how you would fix these. And then when you've gone ahead and fixed all of those, return to the video and see what the corrections might be. Okay, so this is simply a suggestion of how you could correct it. Okay, there are a number of other ways. Actually, I corrected it in one particular way and I saw I didn't use any complex sentences, so I came back and corrected it in a different way so you could see that you could change some sentences into complex sentences. So you'll see that I actually totally deleted the second second sentence, second or third sentences, and joined them up together with my first sentence and made that complex. Then in that next section between clothes and he, I just simply put a period between the two, made two separate sentences. Uh, the next fix is I made it compound. I added a comma and an and. Um, 
in the, let's see, once Mark tried to cut back on his purchases, I went ahead and made a complex. And again, I had lots of compound sentences. If you only have compound sentences or only have complex sentences or only have simple sentences, you might want to go ahead and rewrite it again to get some of that variety that we talked about because having the same sentence type is, is very, very boring. It's like eating that ice cream, that same vanilla ice cream, day in, day out without any chocolate or any other uh, flavor. Okay, so I also did a compound sentence with a coordinating, no, not coordinating conjunction, a transi transitional expression as a result. And then last one is a common and. So I did use my fair share of compound sentences. They're fairly common, but I tried to mix it up with some complex. If I really wanted to work, I don't think I have any uh, compound complex, so I might try to add one of those somewhere in there. So... Oh, actually, I have one right here. Things got worse when his car broke down. So this is a complex sentence. And then we have compound right here. So I do actually have one right in here. So um, that's the end of our lesson, Elphine, the end. Uh, you can go ahead and click here for more information. And don't forget to write the key phrase rundown so you can go ahead and put that into D2L. Um, hopefully this helped you out, and I can't wait to look at your perfectly punctuated papers.